life. Welcome to, uh, welcome back. It's time for First Aid 4. You know, after a busy summer, you're ready to get back into your routine as you head into fall, which means you may want to uh, get a look at some new volunteer opportunities. And it is time for our monthly segment with Share Charlotte. I am joined by Lori Krzyzewski and Kimberly Pauk of Share Charlotte. So thank you, ladies, for being here thank today. You. Thanks for having us. Uh, first, Kimberly, I want to start with you. Uh, I want you to introduce the uh, nonprofit that you all are highlighting today. Why did you choose to share Bahailu Academy with us? Okay. Okay, well, thank you. Well, at SHARE, we work hard to connect people to the good stuff happening in Charlotte, and we have 300 nonprofits on our website right now where people can do just that. But we also love to hear stories about kids connecting to the community and kind of finding their own voices. Mm -hmm. And Bahailu Academy does that by bringing the arts to kids who may not have a chance to experience it otherwise, and we love that, so we couldn't wait to share them with you. And this, I have never heard of this, so this is awesome that we have something like this here in our community. Lori, I want to bring you into the conversation. Why is an arts-based education important for this particular age group of middle and high schoolers? Sure. Um, developmentally, we have kids in middle and high school. They're, they're finding themselves. They're trying to find their way. Mm -hmm. And at Bahailu, we're able to provide them access to the arts to help them find their voice, kind of develop as, as young adults. And especially when we look at all of the funding and things that are being cut from the schools, mm -hmm. you know, at this time... Um, we're re it's really important to give them access to the creative outlets they need to express themselves in ways that are healthy. Well, what type of projects do your students work on? We work on a variety of different things from drawing to dance to jewelry to culinary. So there really is something for every child. For every child. Photography, improv. Yeah, we, um, in addition to the arts, we also, we offer academic support, okay. homework help, um, and opportunities for community service as well. Our uh, mission is to help them build the skills that they need to be successful after high school graduation. You guys also have a celebration coming up, something called the Mosaic Awards. What's the goal there? The Gold Mosaic Awards um, is to celebrate other difference makers in the community. So at Bahailu, we believe it takes a village, and we can't do it alone. And the Mosaic Awards are an opportunity for us to come together with other folks in the community and celebrate the good work they're doing. And uh, we do have information that we'd like to put up if you want to participate in the Mosaic Awards. Coming up this Saturday, September 12th at Carolina Golf Club. You can get more information at mosaicawards.com. Lori, Kimberly, we thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you for having us. It's always great to share uh, a nonprofit. A lot of times that may not be well known in our mm -hmm. community so that mm -hmm. folks know another avenue in which they can give back and, and be a part of the community. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, ladies. Thank you so much. Jamie. All right.